by Fielder. Look at Fielder and into the wall. Who was that? Coulthard, it's Coulthard, Coulthard in the wall. Maybe Coulthard into the wall will stop the race. They'll have to red flag this. Oh, this is this. terrible. Look, oh, this is quite appalling. This is the worst start for a Grand Prix that I have ever seen in the whole of my life. Total it, carnage. It, it uh, da David Coulthard went off up the hill very early on, and they've just they have no ability to stop. The tyres are cold, and everything but everything locks up, and he just absolutely just slides straight into the accident. Communication with his team. Here we see Auckland Bottoms hooking up on the outside. Oh, car on its side. That's very fine. That is a massive crash there. Wow, that was a big wreck, Gary. About seven or eight cars involved, and this could bring out a red. Is that Larry Foyt? He went upside down. In the black down, driving suit, he Foyt. was upside down, and uh, he rolls on the ground as that Terre Haute First National Bank sponsorship. Another car with a fire. Yeah, yeah. you see Brinkman in the middle. Now watch the three car. He's tucked up behind Ogle. Ogle goes by Brinkman, and now Bottoms tries to stay with him, and bam, he turns into Brinkman, who consequently runs into Foyt. And he's upside down there. You see Curtis involved as well in the fire coming from the 45 machine. So 45 made contact with Foyt just about the time Foyt hit the wall right there. Wow. For the first time, it's Fenestras who dives to our right, his left. Is he going to go all the way around the outside of Schwartzman? No, he's not, but it's a good start for Fenestras. Are we through cleaning? No, we're not. Deforni's being turned around. There was contact with Aubrey and more contact and more contact. It's chaos at the start of this second race of the weekend. Never mind the safety car. This will have to be a red flag situation. We had a similar situation in this category a decade ago and it's happened again safety car has been deployed now watch the blue car of deforni he's gone right round the outside there there's the contact he's turned round and now watch the rest of the field trying to avoid it some of them being caught out some of them intentionally having to drive off the track and others didn't know that was happening because when it started if you now focus on the back of the grid they're fighting with each other they have no idea what's going on just a few hundred meters further up the road all of a sudden it's panic stations flying through the air Marcia that kid's got no fear Harrington and, and Podikin right there side by side and exciting for oh oh huge wreck oh man Harrington is involved and they keep piling in Oh, a vicious, oh, this is a vicious red flag. wreck. They got a red flag, this. That was huge. I was, you know, I couldn't tell who was on the outside whether that was Harrington or not. But, uh, you know, again, offline, you've got coal tires. There's the red flag. We saw one or two cars getting big time up in the air there. See Ken Loesch climbing out of the 52. Oh, oh, that car went head first in the wall, Harrington. Oh, man. And you know what? Hard to say whether or not they touched. Oh, John God. Pugh is that car there that speared into the barriers there. And they you just know what? keep coming. And... and the problem with that barrier, oh, oh man, Harrington it just took a violent hit. You want to bounce off, and there's Pew. Oh, he gets helped and launched. Big hit. Doug Peterson was the one that got under there. Brad Yeager's in there. Ross Smith. Ken Lotion is that 52 car right there, the white one. One driver looking to uh, improve his ride is Buddy Lazier. We've got a crash. Let's oh, go upstairs. A big crash. Terrible crash out of turn number four. And here on the main straightaway, it involves many, many cars. I can see as many as seven or eight cars involved in this accident. Two cars just got together. There were two wide. Looked like two cars got oh. together. Couldn't tell whether it was. That's Buell hitting the wall right there right. very hard. The mirror, it looked like mirrors got together with somebody there and, and started that. Everybody else kind of in, in the back trying to run through the debris and just running into each other. Wow. Here it is from another angle. Just a tremendous amount of fire there initially. Yeah, and that's Corey Witherall right there who gets Ooh. nailed a couple of times in that bright orange car. Schumacher holds his nerve, but there's nothing he can do. Incredibly, he gets around everybody. Oh, and that's Fontana, Masson, and it's everybody. Fontana hit the wall, Nassim couldn't avoid him, and neither could anybody else. Disaster for this second leg. There must be a dozen cars on their roof and piled up on this corner, and we haven't seen wreckage like this for an awful long time. Well, everybody getting out and walking away, but there is at least half this field that won't be rejoining.
The top three get through. Here comes Fontana, runs wide, clips the wall, bounces back in front of Masson. Masson collects him and everybody else joins in. And half the field now embedded in each other or in the barriers. And there they go. And you can see that right at the early stage, PK and Warwick and Sarah are involved. Sarah goes across the circuit. It's absolute chaos. Mayhem, the unfortunate Japanese driver going end over end. And then cars subsequently piling into each other. The marshals go over the top, over the rails, and assist in extricating that incredibly fortunate Japanese driver. Were you involved in the accident at all? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, my car is fucked. It's fucked. Yeah. And what about you? Are you okay? Yeah, my head is a bit dizzy. I got a wheel in the head. You got a wheel in the head? Well, we've seen the havoc that is an integral part of motor racing. Without it, would the spectator come to watch? With havoc, drivers risk their all to realize their dreams and ambitions.